I'm not a huge fan of the Warlock. Uh, if you build the Warlock in the normal game, you can build him pretty strong. But I really, really took a double-edged sword risk on uh, playing him here in Arena. I mean, honestly, of the three choices I had, he was probably the worst choice. But I like living a little risky. You know, it's a little bit more fun. Gul'dan versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Your soul shall be mine. All right, so my Stone Skin Gargoyle didn't do any good last time, so we're going to throw all three of those away and keep more of the oil. I'm playing another priest, so... But I got a pretty good draw here. Let's see what his first turn is. Nothing. So, instead of, you know, playing it nice and safe, what we're going to do here is we're going to drop coin. And we're going to drop Lepernome. And I was going to drop two Lepernomes, but now I have a flame map. So I'm going to put him down, too. That's giving me five damage right here on the first turn. Yeah, I'd be a little scared too, buddy. Yeah, hesitation. I like to play with fire. He's on a wild pyromancer. Interesting. So I'm just going to kill that with my lepernome. Deal the damage. And then, hilariously, drop another lepernome. And then hit him with my imp and end the turn. I've got the succubus in hand, but I also have my core fiend, and if I had drawn something less good, I would have I would play the succubus next turn. But you're running a 50-50 chance of either getting rid of the mortal coil, which I'm fine with losing, and getting rid of the core fiend or a core hound, which would be catastrophic. So I'm gonna just draw a card and then hit this guy with five. You just keep rolling. Pay attention, class. Violet sorceress. Interesting. Coincidentally enough, power overwhelming. So that's what we're gonna do. Power overwhelming on my gnome here. Kill the apprentice, which takes her down. Play the succubus here. Pray that we don't drop the core fiend. I can handle dropping that. And then again, no one dies, does two more damage. So we've got him down almost past half health here, and we're only on turn four. So this is going really well. For the Lich King! So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop my panther, draw a card. Just keep taking it to his face. Since you dropped this Spectral Knight, I can't target it with Shadow Bolt, so, I mean, that really just kind of narrows down what I have to do. And it's also worth noting that Shadow Bolt can only target a minion, so I can't use it to hit him this turn. Here's a guy who's hesitating. You can't target your own creature because it can't be targeted, guy. Interestingly enough, I've drawn Ascension Shield Master, so I could defend my two cards here if I wanted to, which I do want to. Tazingo! Yes! So now we're going to take it to his face again. Give me some very potentially lethal damage for next turn. Depending on... Un unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> Giving him more health. All 
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop Shadow Bolt here. And then we're gonna drop Mortal Coil. Drawing me another Mortal Coil. Oh yeah, we deal with one damage. And we have That's GG. Drop well played. And move on to our next game. And that's, that's kind of where the Warlock is very strong, is in his early game. His early game is very, very good. When you can really get it to synergize like that. Gul'dan versus He's got a lot Valkyria. of low-cost cards that hurt him, I must so you really gotta watch one. that. Your soul shall be mine! I'm gonna drop the Void Terror and the Abomination. Those are a little too late game. I like the uh, Jungle Panther. Flame Imp's okay. I could have done without the Rocketeer, but beggars can't be choosers. And this engine, which is even less helpful. Yeah, so let's drop the Imp, and we'll uh, just kind of roll and see what he, see how he plays this. I don't. He can kill this, I think, on this turn, but I think he has to drop his uh, plus two plus two attack plus two armor. He chooses not to. So let's drop the uh, haunted creepers that we just drew and take it to his face. These haunted creepers are an excellent candidate for uh, power. Mad Bomber really came back to bite him. So what we're going to do here is we're going to attack him with my spiders. He's going to kill them. Find the two smaller spiders and then mortal coil to draw a card. Uh, use our hero power and draw another card. And then take it to his face again. Next turn, depending on how he goes, I'm either going to drop the Jungle Panther or the Sengen's Shield Master. Drops Wrath on my guy here to give him a card to draw, which is fine. Drops coin. What are you gonna do? Wild growth. It's a good call. You can't fault that. So since he currently has nothing on the field, uh, I'm gonna drop the jungle panther, and then I just drew the blood imp. So let's drop him too. And we'll take it to his face again. Once again, depending on how he plays this. Shape shift and he's coming after my spider. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just use a Shadow Bolt to kill his dead. And then draw cards. And then just come right at him. I must safeguard the land. Abomination is not going to help me right now. He does two damage to everybody, so that would kill my Blood Imp. But none of his cards can do lethal damage. Um, I'm gonna drop the Stormpike Commando and kill his ooze. I've got a huge gun. Then I'm gonna drop Lepernome because <laughs> Lepernome's awesome. And attack my Spider again. Interestingly enough, the uh, Blood Imp decided to choose my Stormpike Commander for the extra health, so now he can't trade with his Keeper of the Grove. So that's helpful. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Well, well, sort of. He's gonna survive. But... 
the shapeshift. It goes after my leopard for some reason. Basically doing what Leprechaun does. So this is an excellent opportunity to uh, drop my abomination. What we do? Because all of his cards will take lethal damage from the abomination, and he can't kill it. So we are going to attack and then draw a card. Just to see what we get. Summoning portal. That's a fun one. Interestingly enough, my Blood Imp decided to give health to the Abomination. So, that's going to prevent the 1-2 shot from the uh, the hero and a minion. He's going to have to attack it with both minions at this point to kill it off. Oh. And it looks like that's what he's going to do. So that's going to leave me with uh, just the spiders on the field. Takes care of my Blood Imp, which is fine. I've, if the Blood Imp, the blood imp has done nothing but live up to what he's supposed to do. Drops a taunt and a heal. I'm gonna drop the uh, Sinjin Shield Master. Because yes. that's a, I think that's a good drop for right now. And then let's, I'd like to drop the Summoning Portal, but I might, I'm gonna drop the Chill Wind Yeti. And then we're just gonna wait. The Chillwind Yeti is going to give me a, uh, the damage I need to kill his taunt next turn. Provided he attacks my taunt with his taunt. Pass me that arc light spinner. If he doesn't attack my taunt with his crusade. taunt, then I'm going to attack. I'm going to drop Reckless Rocketeer and just smash it. Right, so this has gotten to be a little bit out of hand. Let's go for Reckless Rocketeer. Run right into the taunt. Let's pop the shield with my spider on the Crusader. And then let's hit the healer with my Yeti. Drop Voodoo down. Self. Draw a card. Job done. Pulled Void Terror, which is interesting. What we do? He drops an abomination. Shape shift. I could be in a touch of trouble here. I'm going to drop the uh, Frost Elemental here. Freeze his 4 2. Then I'm going to drop. Uh, do I want to drop Brewmaster? This is a tough call. I'm going to drop Brewmaster and return the Frost Elemental to my hand. So I have it for next turn to freeze again if I need to. Um, I don't really have any other options right now. I could attack, but it would just limit his options. Oh, nice. mistake. That wasn't a mistake. That was a, absolutely intentional, so I can freeze again tomorrow. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to survive because he's got his shapeshift, among other things. My eyes are open. There it is. Okay. Well, that's two losses in the book. We started off really well, but he caught up relatively quickly, and I couldn't keep the momentum going. Yeah, that happens. That's what happens when you run arena. Let's see if we can uh, prolong this arena run. Gul'dan versus Uther. 
I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. So this is a really good first draw. Let's roll with it. Do you need a blessing? So I was going to do a uh, coin and then these two guys. That's what I'm thinking. I'm still thinking that's what I'm going to do. Because she can kill everything else pretty much in a one shot. The only problem is she can kill the, fl the flame imp too, which so is many kind of a waste. I'm just going to throw it on Lepernome for now. I might drop coin next turn in case if she goes right for him. I also might draw one of my mortal coils, which would be I'll brilliant. Show I'll show them all! Exactly like that. Like what you just saw. Yeah, that's what I was going for. So let's drop a mortal coil and kill that. And then we will drop a flame imp, because he'll directly trade with him. I'll hit this guy in the face. Interesting move that he would decide to trade with me as opposed to not trade with me. That secret could be anything at this point. I'm just going to drop Shadow Bolt. Try to kill his creature. Just like that. Uh, I can't coin anything. Let's just hit him. Say, hey, worst comes to worst, it was the noble sacrifice. But it wasn't, so... Let's just keep rolling. Reporting for duty. I'm gonna drop... Shieldmaster. Tadingo! Yeah. Is that a secret? Nope. Now I'm gonna kill these two. Because... It's four. He took his damage. Oh, Avenge. Okay. Fun times. He'll still directly, if he attacks my taunt, will still die. So, it's up to him. Reporting for duty. He didn't directly attack it, which is interesting. So I'm gonna drop summoning for him now. Because that's pretty uh pretty clutch move. Um I really like all the cards I have. I'm gonna drop coin and then <laughs> now I'm gonna hit his harvest golem here. So while yes, he can directly trade with me, he still doesn't have lethal damage on any of my other cards. That is going to be very helpful. Also an option to kill my summoning I'm flying. It was a good play. I enjoy that. But now we're going to freeze him, so... You can't do that again. And then I think next turn we're going to start flooding we the board here. cleanse the sun well. Reporting for duty. I'm going to drop the panther. And I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop the Demolisher, just because this attracts people's attention, if nothing else. And then I'm just going to kill his... And depending on how he handles the Demolisher, if he just goes right at it with his minion, which I expect he'll do. If he doesn't, I'll be really surprised. Truth is my shield. 
Now I really expect he'll go right at it. Because uh, the Demolisher can just pop that shield from without even having to touch it. Ooh, divine shield. Interesting. It's not going for me. You start paying for that mistake. Let's put the Voodoo Doctor down. For the Let's put the Fairy Dragon down. And because now she has no consequence, let's drop the Succubus. And then let's heal, or let's uh, draw a card. Oh, Mortal Coil, interestingly enough. Let's use Mortal Coil to kill this guy. Defender of Argus. So now let's see how he handles the situation. My shield for Argus. Playing a defender himself. The Frost Wolf stands ready. And uh, Frost Wolf Warlord. It's getting a little crazy on his side of the board. We're gonna have to top deck like a champion here. No surprises there. The real question is, is he going to choose to clear the board as much as possible, or is he going to go right for me? He's going to come for me. Which is good, because I need those guys. That was the worst top deck I've ever had. My shield Let's drop the Argus. defender over here on these two. He's going to do a lot of damage. Let's uh -huh. kill his defense there. Ancient Brewmaster. That'll help. Let's drop a Wisp. Because wisps are helpful. Um, I want to pop his taunt, his his divine shield, but I just it's going to take all of my all of my creatures to kill that card, and that's just far too much for right now. Whereas he's going to be able to get a maximum of one hit through onto me if I used all my cards, it wouldn't be quite the case. For duty. Silver Moon shall not fall. I'm not sure why I felt the need to kill the Wisp, but okay. Uh, let's drop the uh, Ancient Brewmaster I'll down. On your Pull back my Argus Defender. Just like such. And then let's put My it right back down again. While a minion has stealth, it cannot taunt. That's adorable. I've apparently never triggered that before. Let's draw cards. Um, I can't kill his taunt, so there's no point in unstealthing myself right now. The question is, does he have lethal damage if I don't? Doesn't matter. He'll kill it anyway. So let's just end the turn for now. Ugh. Yeah, he might have lethal. Very well has lethal. Well, I uh, guess that's gonna do it for this run. That's what happens sometimes. Oh well, I feel like we had one good game out of that. Let's go ahead and turn it in. And uh, just back out the way I came, right? Yeah. All right. See ya. This has been Rainer, guys. I'll see you next time.